how to sell your ebook on the internet. Now, if you've not yet written your own ebook, then you can do so quickly by first creating an outline of what you want to write about, then breaking that down more and more until you have step by step topics to actually write about. Once you have an outline in front of you, you can just fill that in by writing more information underneath each step. So I'm going to assume that you have written your ebook and now you want to promote it and to sell it. First of all, you need a sales page. Now, this is where you will describe your ebook and the benefits that people will discover by reading it. When you describe what's in your ebook, you can just write down your table of contents because this is really a list of what is included in your ebook. So that's an easy way of describing it. But there are some things that your sales letter will need to include. You need to include a statement of the problems that people might have who actually need to read your ebook. So what problems does your ebook solve? This is really important because this will draw people in who actually need what you're offering. You need a description of the contents of your ebook and you can do this as I've mentioned by using your table of contents. Have some bullet points of what the reader will actually learn and how it will benefit them, how it will be relevant to them after going through and reading your ebook. You know, what kind of results will they see? It's also a really good idea to include a story of how applying what is in your ebook has helped you or someone else. People can really relate to a story. You also need a guarantee so that your customers know there's going to be no risk if they make a purchase and that you will produce a refund if need be. You also need a link to some payment processing system so that people can actually purchase it. Um, I use PayPal, um, but there are many different ones out there that you can use. You should always include some links to uh, legal pages like a disclaimer, your returns policy, refund policy, uh, terms and conditions so that your sales page meets the current leg legislations out there, uh, the current regulations. So once you've written your sales page, you need to upload that to your website so that people can then uh, read it and then buy it to download uh, your actual product afterwards. So your product also needs to be uploaded to your website. It's best if you have an opt-in form after payment is made. And this is so that you can capture the name and email addresses of people who've bought your product, because this enables you to then build your list, your email list with actual buyers. So to promote your ebook, write some articles about it or about topics that are related to what's in your um, product, your ebook. Write some guest posts about it. You could ask people to review it and then write their review on their own website if they have one. So you're trying to get your ebook mentioned on the internet in as many places you can. And remember, wherever you mention it or wherever other people mention it, always make sure that you include a link to your sales page um, so that people can then go straight um, and read more about your ebook. So if you found this helpful, then uh, you might like to visit my website, which is kfranklin.com, um, and there's a free download available there if you uh, wish to uh, grab it.